watching the home of old mates, Backyard Tech. Yesterday for It's Monday here at Backyard Tech, we began resurrecting my son V490. This is the one that sort of works. And we conducted a visual inspection on everything. Late yesterday afternoon, I put it into the position you can see there on the floor and ran AC power to it, but didn't boot it. In part two of resurrecting my V490, well, let's see if she'll power up. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Welcome to part two of resurrecting my Sun Microsystems Sunfire V490. And uh, as I mentioned in last night's convo, it has now been on AC power, just sitting on AC since late yesterday afternoon, my time. So uh, about 22 hours or so now. And what I want to do for this one is power it up. Only I'm going to power it up my way. Now the eight uh, trolls and uh, apparent demanders here at Backyard Tech, you can all go and get completely knotted. Okay, because I'm going to power this thing up my way. This is not the documented way to do it. This is not how it's supposed to be done. This is my way of doing it. Okay, now as we're all very much well aware of about the eight to ten uh, controllers of Backyard Tech who tend to abuse the living you know what out of me for everything I do on a regular basis because they don't like it and they believe their way is the only way to do it um, I'm not going to listen to them and I'm not going to you know put up with their demands so what we're going to do with this thing is I'm going to move the camera out of the road to start with Look. And I'm going to take out board B in the CPU side of the server. Now the reason I'm taking out board B, I think that is the one that has some issues. So we're just going to bring this up on one CPU memory module. Now so that I know what you're looking at and I've got reference for what's going on. Can you actually see all that? No. There we go. There you go. So we're going to take the top off this again, and as I said, this thing's been on power since yesterday, so the AC input, input box has had power to it since late yesterday afternoon. Now, having discussed options with some good friends, or should I say, those who respect the fact this is mine, I now know what operating system I'm going to put on it and I also know what I'm going to do with it. But no one else is going to know because I'm not putting myself at the behest of other people. Hang on guys. Okay, so I want to get board B out of the equation. You might just be able to see two green lights in there. I just want to bring this up on one board. 
and no hard drives. Okay, got it out of there. Okay, so put this back on. So now I do have this plugged in to the KTM. Okay, next thing to do. I'm going to lock that, haven't I? I'm going to get the hard drives out. I don't know what's on them. I don't actually care. Okay. So, let me explain what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to power it up uh, with no hard drives. Now, I don't have a serial console for this so what I'm hoping will happen is it'll come up it'll initialize the frame buffer and we'll get an output off the KVM now I can't guarantee that's going to happen um, but I just want to see whether it'll actually come up and whether or not it is able to at least show something on the uh, on the display now initially, because I don't have a serial console on this, we can't do a diag test. Um, so uh, we're just going to see whether it'll boot and whether it'll come up on the KVM. Um, I don't know, honestly. Um, but what I am going to say, and I'm going to say this bluntly, you don't like the way this, the way I do this, then don't watch the goddamn video. It's as simple as that. If you want me to do it your way, you go out and get your own sun equipment and do it your way, all right? This is my server, okay? The same with the E49, they're mine. They're not anyone else's, I own them, I'll use them for what I want. It's, it, it's damn well that simple. Okay, let me, uh, let me reposition the camera to the KVM and uh, we'll be back. All right, let's... Uh Let's see if she comes up. Oh, I'll turn it to on. Hang on. Ah, that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Not your horses. Just gonna have to wait and see what this does.
by the looks of the uh, flashing lights, it is actually running a test. We're just going to have to play the waiting game, unfortunately. Um, hi. Let me just walk across here for a moment. So as I said, I've already spoken to some people about uh, what to use it for. Those who actually respect the fact that the thing is mine and I can use it for whatever I want. Um, they are, you know, perfectly happy with that. Still nothing off the, uh, off the system yet. So we'll just have to play the waiting game on that. Um, I already know what I'm going to use the V494. I am not going to be dissuaded from that. So once we get it up and running uh, and I get it repaired and operational, then I have my own, what's his name for it? Here it comes. I may have to get a separate screen for it. It's desperately trying. I'm looking at the um, front panel lights flashing. worry, isn't it? There's definitely an error there. The error light is on. Okay, we do have an error light. Um, okay, bear with me, I shall be back in a tick. All right, let's try this again. We'll see what this does. I may need to build a serial console for it. Um, 
so that I can actually get an idea of what the serial port's putting out, but I just want to see whether or not it will initialise the phone buffer. What it would mean is if I do have to build a serial terminal, I've got one built actually which we could probably use, so hopefully I can use that. Maybe. <laughs> V490s are rather noisy when you think about it, but I was a little intrigued to see that the fans didn't come down. So, I'm not overly sure what the problem is at the moment. There's only one CPU memory module in there, so it only has to run a RAM test, on, it only has to run a test on two CPUs and a test on uh, eight gig of RAM. I think um, I mean something's a bit screwy with the KVM at the moment, but we'll see. I can't see it, but I can see the screen flickering. So it's definitely trying. I think I'm going to need to build a serial console for it try and find out what the uh, what the out the output of the serial is saying. It is trying, I can see it trying. I wonder if it's going out on the DVI instead of the VGA. It shouldn't be, but it might be. Not looking good, is it? Um, it could be the KVM is the problem. Um, let me see if I can sort something out. Hang on. All right. Well, my next theory is, is it going out on the DVI? So, I've got a DVI screen here with a long DVI lead. Let's see what happens. And it's in power save mode. So, what we need to do 
unfortunately. I'll cut it off. Okay. Where am I? Oops. Let's get me. All right. So, obviously, I need to get a serial console on it. Let me just grab the camera. Obviously, I need to get a serial console on it. I was hoping not to. But by the looks of it, I am going to have to get a serial console on it and find out what's failed. Um, I don't know. Um, the fact that that light is on is an indication that there is a problem. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get a serial... I'm going to have to build up a half decent serial console and uh, work out what's going on. My theory is it's probably the I.O. board um, which I've got a donor I.O. board I can use or something's not posting. Now what's not posting I don't know until I get a a uh, serial console on it so we do have some problems it's obviously not initializing the frame buffer properly which is a worry as well so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do next um, it doesn't smell so that's a good thing <laughs> but we have got some problems with her so I'll leave it at that there we go part two didn't go so well uh, I'm gonna have to have a think about what my next plan, well obviously I'm going to have to build a half decent serial console but I'm going to need to build one slightly better to work with this server than just a bog standard serial console I think I'm going to need something beefy anyway we'll leave it at that there we are guys, alrighty that is uh, part 2 of resurrecting my V490 and it didn't go so well I'll catch you tonight for the convo cheers this has been another presentation from Backyard Tech